Hey guys, Kathy here from Parents Academy. It's the first day of summer, so I'm here to talk to y'all about some summer fun safety tips, all right? You know, San Antonio, it's like summer and not summer, right? I mean, let's be real over here in South Texas. But the reality is there's a lot of things as the sun heats up that we need to be aware of for keeping our families safe. Um, when I think about summertime around here, it's pool parties, it's splashing in the sprinkler, it's heading down to the beach. So we're going to talk a little bit about how to keep your kids safe and keep yourself safe. First ingredient you need to pack in your beach bag is sunblock. Sunblock is number one. Now what do we do? We get down there, we put the bathing suits on the kids, we start putting the sunblock. You know what? We already messed up. Sunblock needs to be applied 30 minutes before you go out in the sun. So it has time for the skin to absorb it and activate the, the quality ingredients in sunblock. Also, you need to be reapplying every two hours. The, the potency of the sunblock is not gonna last against the potency of the sun. The UV rays is what's causing you the trouble. You know, sometimes people are like, it's a cloudy day, I don't need sunblock. The UV rays are just as strong on a cloudy day. And the main reason we're interested in sunblock, we want to look for a 30, S, 30 plus SPF. That's going to be the sun protection factor, 30 plus. Because if a child has even one serious sunburn, like a blistering sunburn in their childhood, it doubles their cancer risk for melanoma, for skin cancer. If we have five of those bad sunburns, and we've probably all had a bad sunburn, right? If we've had five of those bad sunburns, our skin cancer risk goes up 80%. So, you know, don't skimp on the sunblock. Put it on early, reapply frequently, keep yourself safe. The worst, the worst sun rays, the UV rays are between 11 and three, so protect yourself. Sometimes people are like, well, I got dark skin, it's gonna help, I'm not gonna get a sunburn, I don't need, I don't need sunblock. You need it even more because the damage will be even worse before you know it. The other thing, you know, is sunglasses. Wearing eye protection. You know, we don't just wear sunglasses to look cool. We're protecting our eyes from the sun. And your children also need sunglasses. They need a good quality sunglasses. Sure, make them unbreakable, but you're protecting their eyes. There can even be retinal damage from the sun. So, you know, now that I'm like out of the sun, I think I'll, you know, take off my sunglasses and go back to my regular glasses because we're gonna talk about a little bit more on safety. So, you know, get your sunblock, don't go, don't go to the beach without it, don't go to the backyard without it, don't go to the pool without it. The next thing we're gonna talk about is safety in the water. You know, sometimes we think we put those little floaties on our kids and it's all good and they're not gonna, they're not gonna get out under, under the water, but the reality is, you know, I looked up some statistics today, wow. In the first half of 2018, and that was up to yesterday, June 20th, there were 45 drownings in Texas of children. That just really, like, it breaks my heart. Drowning is the number one cause of accidental death in children, and toddlers are at the highest risk. Children under five are definitely at a very high risk. Um, one of the things that we know that we can do, because we think we're out the pool, we're you know in the sprinkler, we're having a lot of fun with our family. If you have a young child who's really not, um, they're not a swimmer yet, and even if they are a swimmer, we want to keep them only at arm's length. Don't have, don't let them get too far away from you, because they can be under that water before you know it. The other big thing is that we need to be undistracted. If we've got kids in the water, we need to have our focus on them. If they're doing a cannonball, they're jumping, they look all cool, we want to catch that on Instagram, and we're busy posting and putting all the things about how our kid is the best swimmer in America, we just missed out on what they were doing. So we really want to be undistracted at any time that our child is in the water. And no, so it's not mom's watching them or dad's watching them or an older cousin. No, who's in charge at all times of any child who's in the water, whether it's a pool, it's a lake, it's a pond, whatever it might be. So we wanna avoid those problems. We don't want your family, our family, or any families in, this, in, in our community to lose a child to drowning. So keep an eye out, be ready, watch for, watch for every, every danger thing that you can in terms of water. It only takes like two inches of water for a child to drown. So let's, you know, be safe in the sun, be safe in the water. The third thing we're going to talk about today is the heat. Of course, we got plenty of heat in South Texas, right? You know, we always say that Texas, you know, we're, we're, we're the, you know, we're, we're number one in this, we're number one in that. Well, you know what we're number one in? We're number one in number of children who have died of a heat stroke in a car. 
This is not a rating we want to have. Between 1990 and 2017, 120 children died in a car from heat stroke. And you might be like, well, those parents weren't paying attention. What were they thinking? How come they didn't know it'd get hot in the car? We think, oh, I'll crack the windows. I'll just be in the store for a few minutes. The reality is cracking the windows makes no difference. Very rapidly, the heat goes up inside the car. It can be 125 degrees inside a car in a matter of minutes. And you're like, well, I would never leave my kid in the car. I don't know how people could, that could happen. Well, you know, if you're like under extreme stress, or you're out of routine, these are times when children have been left in, in a car by a parent or a caregiver. Um, what they, I looked at some, some stats on this also, 50% of the children who were left in a car that died of, of heat stroke, it was, the parent did it unknowingly. It, they may have been out of routine, it may have not been their usual day to pick up the child or take the child to daycare. Um, there are a few tips to, to prevent this. We've got a little bit of information here about how what it's like in the back seat. Even on an 80 degree day after 20 minutes, 109 degrees. The core temperature of the child goes up very rapidly um, at a core temperature of 107 degrees. Brain cells are damaged and internal organs are shut down. This is a little display we have here at the center. You know, and you're like, well, how could I prevent this? How could I avoid this? Well, one of the things that I read mentioned um, putting something in the back seat with the child. Maybe your cell phone, maybe your purse, your wallet, something that you're gonna have to go back to get out. If you have an infant and you're looking in the rear view mirror with a rear facing infant seat, that looks the same whether the baby's in there or not. So we wanna be aware. Another uh, thing that I read said to use a stuffed animal. Put a stuffed animal in the car seat and when you put the child in the car seat, put that stuffed animal in the front, and then you're gonna be aware, oh, I gotta check the back. You know, I gotta check. Some of the things that I read, 87% of the children who died of heat stroke in a car were under the age of three. And those are kids that can't get out on their own. And of that number, 54% were age one or younger. Those children had no chance whatsoever to get out. So we wanna look at, look before you lock. I think that was the best advice that I saw. If you see a child inside a car somewhere, get help immediately. They don't have time to wait. Um, 37 children on average die of heat stroke in the United States in one year, and those could be prevented. So we want, like today we're just talking about the serious side of summer a little bit. Like we wanna keep children safe. We want families to be safe. So be safe out there in the sun, be safe around water, be safe around heat, and don't forget to hydrate. Hydration is very important. We need to make sure that we're getting plenty of water and that our kids are getting water. One of the things that I learned about children is they don't even know they're thirsty until they're already dehydrated. So have them drinking water frequently. That's gonna be really important. Take them to Walmart, take them to the store, have them pick out the water cup that they like. If they want Paw Patrol, if they want Batman, whatever they want uh, for their water cup, keep it filled frequently when you're out there, refill, you know, redo their sunblock, refill the tank. It's time to hydrate. Thanks from Parents Academy, a few safety tips. Hope you guys have a fun, safe summer.